This is your dose of daily market wisdom with master trader Nick Santiago. Starting from humble beginnings, Nick has been beating the markets for over two decades. He shares with you his take on the profitable trades that will have you moving towards financial freedom in no time at all. To see an in-depth review of his track record and much more, go to InTheMoneyStocks.com. Welcome. This is your daily dose of daily market wisdom with master trader Nick Santiago. I'm Kerry Lutz. The date is 3323, show 471, and markets are rallying today, Nick. Yeah, we got a pretty good rally on our hands. I have to say, um, we had a gap higher open, then we had some economic data out, and the markets continue to push higher. So, really, no real problems here <clears throat> from what I can see. Um, you did have yesterday the Atlanta Fed president, Rafael Bostic, basically saying he favors a 25 basis point hike in March. And the markets took off to the upside, and they really haven't looked back since. So we're going to look forward to just 25 basis point increases indefinitely into the future every three months or so? Well, I, I, I think um, that's a possibility right now. If you look at the two-year Treasury note yield, that's around 4.9%. It's down a couple of basis points. But the reality of it is the Fed funds rate needs to be above that level or at that level. And they're behind the curve right now being at 450. So, you know, I know they give themselves that 25 basis point leeway and they say 450 to 475, but the reality is it's 450. So they have to, you know, they probably have to get towards 6% really. Hey, you got 30 year mortgage rates hovering at 7%, Nick. What's this going to do to the real estate market? Here's the irony. Home builders are up today. And, you know, that's why we have to look at charts because sometimes this stuff doesn't make sense. And home builders have been, you know, pulling back recently, but they've had a big, big surge in the month of January. So goes to show you, uh, I'm not smart enough to figure that stuff out, Carrie. I just watch the charts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, uh, today we got energies looking uh, much stronger, huh? Energy is a powerhouse lately, especially natural gas. Natural gas is up again by, you know, three and a half percent, almost four percent. We call the Nat gas low right here on this program, and I still think it's going higher. Nat gas stocks are also looking really good. I've traded them with call options, and uh, I put a couple nice winners in the books, and um, got another nice winner working out right now. So I, I really like Nat gas to go higher. Um, when you get this kind of, of a bottom, these these moves usually have some legs to them. You think we're looking at double-digit nat gas? Well, I do think in time. Right now, I think nat gas has higher to go. I mean, let's let's see what it is. It's only, you know, at 286. But I, I think you'll have a move to four to five, and then after that, some backing and filling. And then ultimately, you know, it continues higher from here. So I do think the bottom is in for nat gas. You know, you're not going to go to double digits right away, but I do think all-time highs are in the cards down the road. All right, and today the erstwhile barbarous relic, I'm talking about gold, is catching a bid. Yeah, gold is pretty strong today. Um, you have the gold futures up about six-tenths of 1% right now. And again, you know, gold went down and it traded into the support level. We talked about that being around anywhere around 1830, 1825 pierced the 1820 level and now you're rebounding back up from a pretty oversold condition um the dollar is pulling back today as well that's helping gold out but i want to just point this out the dollar is consolidating and it may need to consolidate a little bit more but after the dollar consolidates if it makes its march higher um we'll probably see gold pull back now the one caveat or wild card for gold is that you have supposedly an escalation going on in ukraine and a lot of traders like to hold precious metals. A lot of investors like to hold precious metals, especially in times of, uh, of a major war ex escalation. Now, we know that that war is located in Ukraine, but if it spills over and you get NATO involvement, and it looks like we're getting more and more NATO involvement by the minute, um, <clears throat> this could turn out to be something bigger. And that could be the caveat for gold to go early. Otherwise, gold pulls back to the 1500 level, and I love it there, Kerry. All right, and Bitcoin... Uh... Looks like it's getting hammered a bit. Yeah, Bitcoin is getting hammered today. Right now, uh, we have Bitcoin trading lower by about uh, four and a half, four and three quarters percent. 
still sitting around that 22,500 area. Um, it, it was, you know, it was actually uh, having very, very good strength. Today, we're seeing it trade lower, but the pattern has not broken down. So Bitcoin, if it can firm up here, can still be constructive to the upside in the near term. Bigger picture, carry. you know, I think that's going down to 11,000. Um, <clears throat> but we may have some more upside first. But today, not a great day for Bitcoin. And um, I believe one of the companies out there, uh, ticker symbol SI, which is called Silvergate Capital Corp., is really just plunging uh, recently. Today it's flat, but yesterday that stock was down from you know basically fifteen dollars to five. And um, they're like a, a funding network, a bank for the crypto world. <clears throat> so it looks like that's going to potentially go under. All right. Well, Bitcoin, you know, it's the wild west. We've seen these uh, exchanges get hacked. We've seen these these. Uh, funding companies and all this and hedge funds just get totally uh, just totally implode and i think this is a pattern in cryptos or kleptos as i like to call them where you're just going to see you know there's no safeguards there's no possible safeguards with them really other than to outright ban them because uh, you know it's the blockchain and the decentralized and who knows where <laughs> there's no way to stop it you know it just isn't. Yeah, I mean, that's been the story for a long, long time. <clears throat> um, but sometimes, you know, the euphoria gets in there and that really just dominates it. Um, I, my opinion is I just can't really ever see governments allowing this stuff. I just don't think they want the competition. Hey, you know what the bumper sticker said? Don't steal. The government hates competition, right? That's what they say. <laughs> All right. We'll leave it at that. Make sure you go over to Nick's site, InTheMoneyStocks.com. So you always beaten the indices for decades now. And the Twitter feeds, at ITMS, at NickSantiago01, at Kerry Lutz. Email KL at KerryLutz.com. Post your comments below on the YouTube channel if you're watching it there. And we will get to them next week sometime. Nick, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you on Monday. Have a great weekend, Kerry.